uh, this is my fourth Minecraft video, uh, Minecraft the card game video. Um, you can look at my original video to find out what the game is about and how you can get the game for free. And um, my other videos for other instructions, uh, tutorials. So for this video I'll be going over two special rules that I have in this game for, um, for balancing purposes. Um, one rule is pretty straightforward, is that you can't have duplicate resources such as two diamond cards or duplicate crafting cards such as two crafting tables. And the reason for this is that um, there's only there only are two diamond cards, for example, and if you took both, then you basically block the other player from making anything that requires a diamond. And that's just unfair, I think. Um, same, same thing goes for the crafting cards. Uh, at least for... Um, the crafting cards that have like more than one, such as the crafting table, just because it's necessary. Uh, some of the other crafting items, though, there's only one of them. So basically, whoever picks it up first um, will uh, disallow the other player from getting the achievement that requires that card. Or another thing you can do, for example, is if if you know that the other player is um, trying to get the food hoarder achievement because you notice that they have a cake and mushroom stew then what you could do is you could try to get like for example a bread or a wheat before them which requires a seed card and a dirt card and if you get that before them and you craft you craft the bread which is um, over here and you keep the crafting card then basically they can't get the achievement because you just block them. And that's that's allowed, and it's just a part of the strategy. The problem with doing that for you is that um, it'll take up one of your crafting cards, and since you're limited to seven, it could that could be a pretty, pretty big drawback. Uh, the other special rule is um, called Divine Intervention, and this is just because uh, people get really upset when they die. So... Um, Let's see. If you if you have no weapons and you die, like all right, let's say uh, it's my turn and I go into the cave and um, I don't have a sword or um, what is it? I, I basically don't have any weapons and I go into the cave and let's I if I run into a creeper then that basically means I automatically die. But the thing is, there's also a creeper in the outside duck which is there to keep people from just staying outside because they're too scared to go into the cave. So let's say I run into the creeper and I die. Um, I would lose all my cards, all my crafting items and all my resource cards and that's a really big um, loss because the other player will be way ahead of you. So to kind of mitigate that problem, uh, you have a chance of getting back some of your resources. So if you die and you have no weapon, um, you roll the dice, and that's four, so that didn't work. But let's say I rolled a six. If I roll a six, then I'm allowed to keep the crafting table and two resources, which of course one would have to be one would probably be the wood because the wood is really important. And I, I can't keep all my resources, but this is better than starting out again with none of my cards. So that's that's the other rule, and um, I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, then let me know. But uh, yeah, that's that's my last video.